Hey everyone, it's Ren here. This is just a quick video to show you a preview and some of the main features of my weekly and monthly budget spreadsheet. The link to purchase this template is in the description of this video. This is not the full video tutorial. You will get access to a detailed tutorial once you've purchased it. But feel free to reach out to me if you want to see it so I can send you the link. So the main benefit of this spreadsheet is that you'll be able to see your monthly summary here and your weekly summary as well as the summary of your annual expenses in this tab here. All of this will be automatically calculated for you once you've input your income and expenses. You'll also get this sinking funds or savings tracker and also this debt snowball tracker. There are eight tabs in the spreadsheet. I'll go through each tab now. Let's start with the first one, which is the monthly tab, this one. So this is your monthly summary sheet of your income, savings and expenses. The design of this layout is quite intuitive, separating the expenses at the bottom of the sheet. All of your recurring expenses are grouped here. You have the main category of bills, debt, and subscription. And here is your variable expenses, such as eating out, groceries, and any other occasional expenses, which are all the expenses that are not recurring. And then you have income plus savings table at the top of the sheet. This is your monthly summary table where you have the total income here, total expenses here, and total savings. And also your end balance automatically calculated for you. These are your monthly summary of both your budget or projected amount and actual amount. All of these categories are fully editable so you can delete, edit, and rename them to suit your needs. And there are a total of 25 categories to each of them, which makes the total of 100 expense categories. If you need an extra category or extra row, please reach out to me so I can do that for you. The same case with the income and savings category, these are fully editable so you can edit and rename them. All the categories that you write here will be automatically populated in all tabs so you don't have to copy and paste them. You can also input your projected amount or budget amount of each category to each of these tables. So this is not where you log your actual income, savings, and expenses. To log your actual recurring expenses, such as your bills, debt, and subscription, please go to the bill sheet and log them under this table here. And if you have any fixed monthly bills, you can set them up once in this table so you don't have to repeat logging them each month. And then to log your income, savings, and variable expenses, please go to the tracker sheet and then log them in these tables here. Once you've done that, then they will be automatically populated and calculated in these actual columns here, 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 and here. The same with your savings, it will be automatically populated here and your income will be automatically calculated here. So when you're ready to move on to the following month, you don't need to duplicate this tab. Simply select the first of the month in this cell here. Once you've done that, then all the data that you've input in the bills tab and the trackers tab will automatically be populated and calculated in this shade here. All these diagrams and charts will also update once you do that. You can also enter your start balance here in this cell, which is your remaining funds from the previous month. It will then be automatically populated to this monthly summary table. So the second tab is the weekly tab. This is your weekly summary, very similar layout. Again, the same with the monthly tab. You don't need to duplicate this tab when moving on to the next week. Simply select the start date of the week in this cell here. I will select the 9th of October. The end date of the week will automatically update here and all of the tables and charts will automatically populate your log income, savings, and expenses. One of the main features of this product is if you want to split your monthly bills, debt, or subscription per week, please check the box in these columns here and here. This will automatically divide both budget and actual amounts by 4.3, which is the weekly equivalent. So if you do this, it will automatically do that for you. The same with the debt and subscriptions. So the bills tab is where you can view your bill calendar and also lock your bills in this table here. This is a smart calendar, so no need to duplicate this tab. Simply select the month you want to view here by selecting the first of the month and it will populate the dates. You can use it for any month and any year. So if I want to go to next year, I can just select the 1st of January. You can use this spreadsheet for this year, 2024 and 2025 and so on. 
It also populates your bills, debt, and subscriptions, and also your recurring income automatically. So you only need to set up this recurring income once in the monthly tab here under this table here. And then when you go from month to month, it will automatically populate and highlight all of your recurring weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly income. You can also see when your bills are due and also how much. This table here next to the calendar is where you log all of your recurring expenses, such as your bills, debt, and subscription, simply by entering the due date, category, and amount. There is also a pay checkbox column here that you can check to help you keep track of how much your total paid bills versus unpaid bills, which will be automatically calculated in these cells here. So you can see it in instant view at the top of your calendar here, your total bills of the month, your total paid, and then your total unpaid of the month that you select here. So another main feature of this spreadsheet is if you have fixed monthly bills that fall within the exact same date each month, you don't have to repeat logging them every month. Simply set them up here in this table once and they will automatically roll over every month in both this calendar and also all the other tabs. So this will save you a lot of time not having to repeat logging your fixed monthly bills each month. Moving on to tracker sheet. This is where you lock your variable expenses here in this table and also your savings and then your income. There are over a thousand rows here. And the same way with logging your bills, please enter the date, category, and amount. So once you've logged all of your data in both the tracker sheet and the bill sheet, they will then be automatically populated in this monthly tab, weekly tab, and also annual expense tracker. So savings sheet here. This is where you can view the summary of your savings or sinking funds. There are up to 15 savings categories. So once you lock your savings in the tracker sheet, as mentioned before, it will be automatically calculated in this sheet. Here you can see your save amount, goal versus save charts, your progress, and left to spend amount to each of your saving categories, and then all of your totals in this table here. There are also two saving calculators here. Calculator option one is to calculate your monthly contribution if you have a start date and goal date, whereas calculation option two is if you have a fixed monthly contribution instead and want to know your goal date, then you can use this calculator here to find out your goal date. So that's Snowball. This is a standalone sheet to calculate when you can pay off your debt by, which is displayed in this row here. Important to note that this sheet only works with that snowball method. It won't work with any other debt payment method. So what is that snowball method? This approach involves paying off the credit card with the lowest balance first. Once this first debt is settled, this is the example, it's finished here. The monthly amount that were previously allocated towards that payment are then directed towards the debt with the next smallest balance and so forth until all debts are cleared you can track up to 20 debts. Annual expense tracker. This one here is an in-depth summary of your expenses where you can see the total monthly expenses per category. Everything here is automatically calculated from your log expenses in the trackers tab and bills tab. You can start at any month so you don't have to start in January. You can also see your total versus average amounts automatically calculated for you in these columns here. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom part, you will see these um, subscription categories. You can basically allocate category to each subscription. That way you'll, you'll know how many total number of subscriptions you have for entertainment and then how much your total monthly fees and also how much your total annual fees of each of these categories all automatically calculated for you in this table and in this chart here. So the last step is your bonus. This is an optional sheet. So if you want to know how much ratio from your income you spend on your essential expenses, such as rent, bills, groceries, and transportation versus your non-essential costs, such as eating out and entertainment, simply allocate your needs and wants in these tables to each of these categories and all of your needs versus wants ratio will be automatically calculated for you in these cells here and also in this chart here. Cool, that's about it. If you need a different currency than dollars, please reach out to me. I can change the currency for you to any currency, no limitation. If you're familiar with Google Sheets and would like to modify this template to suit your needs, you can do so. Some of the cells with formula are protected, but they are not locked. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to message me. Thank you so much for watching.